Hi there, Foundations of College Writing class. So at the end of every paper, you should use outside sources, um, or if you should use outside sources, you will have a list of where your readers can track down the very text you use to discuss your topic. So this is kind of what I was talking about. This video was gonna be on the works cited page. Um, so this example here is just an example of an essay. Um, and obviously there isn't much of an essay here. It's just, you know, jargon, but, um, <clears throat> This is required, the, the works, pa works cited page is required if you use outside sources in your written work. Otherwise, you will be accused of plagiarism. And plagiarism, especially at the university level, will consist of going through um, kind of like this proceeding and you're, you can be expelled from the university. And uh, with that, it's also very difficult to get into another place of learning if you're caught with plagiarism. Uh, every citation um, association is different, but for the purpose of the MLA, we will discuss how this is done here. Um, so the information included in the work cited will contain the author's name, the title of the work you used, the, book, the publication date, who published the work, um, the page that the author's work is featured, etc. So if you have a, uh, a writer's reference textbook, the ninth edition, and the reason why I say ninth edition is because this is the most updated version for MLA format. Um, it, yes, it will matter um, what version you're using. If you turn into the MLA section in the tab and flip over to MLA 4B, at the very bottom, um, I, on my page, it's page 394. I don't think that's accurate in your um, guys' version. But um, MLA 4B, and it should be t hopefully towards the bottom of the page, it says general guidelines for listing authors. This here in the textbook is just the start of uh, information you're going to need to properly cite your, um, your authors. So if I scroll down here, you're going to see this is just a kind of mock uh, works cited page that I've created for this supposed um, paper. But there's different um, types here. So like, for example, if you're doing a single author, it will be here, Lee Harper, To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, that's going to uh, differ from, say, like a magazine or an article, a journal article, or a short story in an anthology, for example, or a website um, article, for example. So everyone is listed just a bit different. So you want to make sure that you hit your books, um, especially this book that I'm recommending, um, so that way you're using the correct one. And so like in this book here, you'll have the single author, um, the two authors, if there's three or more authors, uh, what if there's an organization or company that's the author? What if there's no author? Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. What else do they have here? Um, <clears throat> two or more works by the same author, um, editor, translator, um, editor with editor or, or author with editor or translator, graphic narrative, um, there's different article formats in, for a journal. There's the print, there's the online version, there's the database, for example, articles and magazines, articles and newspapers, abstract. I mean, you can even, um, where is it? Here, there's multi-volume work, and you can even quote, like, um, like radio stations and that kind of stuff when you're doing this kind of stuff. And there is, is even a very specific format for that. Um, so... As you're looking through the book, you're going to notice that there's a variety of ways to list the, depending on the type of citation you are doing. Um, keep in mind when doing a works cited page, one, do not use works cited generators. They are often wrong. Um, and I'm a little skeptical with Microsoft's, uh, Microsoft Word's version of it because sometimes it's right, other times it's a little off. So um, I generally just recommend doing this yourself because the more practice you get out of doing it, the easier it is. Um, number two, everything must be in Times New Roman, even the works cited. And that must be Times New Roman 12 point font, like the rest of your paper. And number three, it needs to be double spaced with a hanging indent. Now, what does a hanging indent mean? This space right here, um, this is the hanging indent. This kind of indicates that the information goes on to the next um, next line and it's indented. So it's uh, showing that it's still connected with the information prior to that. Um, so how do I do that? Normally, you would just highlight. You want to go to the... Um, 
line spacing options, special, make sure you hit hanging, make sure your line spacing is double, and then just hit OK, everything will be there um, as needed. And the big thing that is also um, not quite understood is that your authors need to be listed in alphabetical order. So as you can see here, um, the last name of the author is always what comes first. And you can see letter B, letter D, H, L, P. So we're going or in order according to the alphabet. That is also required. If you have any other questions in regards to the works cited page, or even if it's just in-text citations, please let me know.